As you can tell right now by my voice. Oh my god, the Trump supporters broke into Capitol Hill. The Republicans broke into Capitol Hill. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically millions, millions of Republicans, millions of Trump supporters, millions that were at the rally have gathered outside Capitol Hill. Like they, they legit broke in. And you might be thinking, how 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 was the how is breaking into Capitol Hill possible? And that's what, exactly what I am thinking. There are mil- what there are thousands of armed guards, literal guards with guns. How you and yet still, at least thousands of them got past the guards, and they're on the east wing. Uh, they're literally on the east wing of Capitol Hill. Did they scale the fucking wall or something? There is nowhere on that wall to grasp. How the hell did they break in? They got through the front door. And yeah, um, the curfew, the DC, so the mayor of DC, he is ordered a lockdown, which for the best, that, that's a good thing. He's ordered a curfew at six, six o'clock is the curfew for them. And I can understand why, because dude, this, this is, this is, this is hilarious. And before anybody tells me this is not Trump supporters, this is just normal Republican shit. Um, in case you haven't noticed, Trump held a rally hours before this happened. He literally, not days or weeks, he held a rally hours before this even happened. So who's to say these aren't the Trump supporters? Listen, I'm not going to take away a person's freedom of speech. But when 4 million of you guys, when, when 4 million of you... And trust me, it has to be 4 million. That's a lot of people. But when 4 million of you decide... Stupid messages. Anyway, but when 4 million of you guys decide to gather outside Capitol Hill to try to stop the proceedings, I've got... I got a problem. Because let, let's be real. They count... In, in total, they counted three times. Every vote for Biden and Trump, they've counted three times. They, they've done the countings three times, bro. Like, in normal circumstances, take Obama's wins, take, Bill, take anybody's presidential wins. They only had to count it once. They had to count this three times because we got a cracking up president. Like, bro, the, the, this is why... The, I guess that guy who said Trump was still going to cause chaos... After this, I, I guess that guy was right because Jesus Christ, four million of them are outside. And thanks to this, they have to call in reinforcements. But based on the whole heap of people, I'm guessing that the reinforcements they're calling in will probably not even be enough. It, it definitely won't be enough, I, I have to say. Okay, so as, as I'm recording this video... They've evacuated the floor in which Vice President Pence is in because let's be real... If 4 million people, there's bound to be 10 or hundreds of people ready to kill Pence or something. Trust me, there has to be at least hundreds of people ready to blow the whole building down, bro. Like, let me, let, let's just analyze this. At least 2,000 guards with armed guns. 4 million people. Like, bro, that's, <laughs> that's some bullshit odds, bro. But even so... It seems like none of the it seems like none of the protesters will have weapons. I'm not telling the guards to shoot because you know um oh bullshit. But seriously, you have to wonder how did they break in? Like they literally trespass. And let's be real. How how is 3000 guards? Let, let's be real. How is 3000 guards or 2000 guards or whoever the hell is guarding the place? How's all of those guards going to arrest 4 million people? That's like part of your population being thrown into jail. Like, bro, like, they're calling for the arrest of some of them. But let's be real, you can't arrest 4 million people or a million people. You can't even arrest 100. That's like throwing part of the population in jail. Like, like what? I don't know what they're going to do because they have to evacuate Pence because... If they don't, if Pence stays there, he's probably going to get murdered. And again, as I'm recording this video, they have finally moved Pence from, you know, Capitol Hill. Because if he stays there, he's probably going to get killed. I I just want... I just... Why? <laughs> why, bro? Just, just why? 
I know, I know the presidential election is stressful for you guys because you didn't get your way, but geez, you guys didn't act like this in 2008 nor 2012, so why do it now? Just seems like a waste of time. Like, bro, every other presidential election was smooth, like, really fucking smooth. Obama's own was smooth. Like, Clinton's own was smooth. Bush, Bush's presidential election was smooth. This is the only presidential election where I have seen 4 million people outside Capitol Hill ready to kill anyone in sight. And the guards aren't doing much, so now they have to call in reinforcements. Trust me, you're gonna... But not evil... But evil calling reinforcements. It's not like reinforcements is gonna help. You call in hundreds of thousands of guards, that won't help. There are 4 million people against hundreds of thousands of police officers or whatever. That's really not going to head, help because that's some shitty ass odds. It, it's still some fucked up odds that won't even help, bro. Like, goddamn. Honestly, I, I don't know what they're going to do. Like, I, I, I really don't know because, let, let's be real, you, you, you don't want to be a part of this. Like... Uh, dude, imagine telling your kids this when you, in the future, imagine telling your kids, yo, in 2021, do you know that Trump's rally, Trump's protesters, you know, do you know that the, do you know that the protesters fucking broke into Capitol Hill and tried to kill Mike Pence? Like, how do you explain that to your kids? How do you explain how or why they decided to break into Capitol Hill? Like, how do you explain this to children? They fucking broke into Capitol Hill and they tried to kill Pence. Like, like, seriously. I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Like, I, I'm genuinely confused. Seriously, every other presidential election, every single transitioning was really smooth like it was the easiest transition then you get to 2020 and 2021 and then you realize this is bullshit 2020 has been nightmarish hell now we got 2021 to worry about with the trump protesters we've got the new covid variant like they, these these bitches these motherfuckers couldn't make this year any more smooth could they but yeah, that's enough out of me. So just to reiterate on what I said, the 4 million protesters, I can count on my finger and at least say 4 million of them. 4 million protesters got through Capitol Hill, breached Capitol Hill, went into the building, some are on the East Wing, and they had to usher out Pence because if they didn't, they were definitely going to kill Pence. I saw a guy in bulletproof. I saw him in a bulletproof vest. Like, it, you don't come in a bulletproof vest unless you're there to kill. So it's obvious some of them are there to literally kill who's ever counting the votes. Ah, but that's enough out of me talking. I'll, I'll update if anything else happens by tomorrow. As I said, I've got school and everything, which I forgot to say. I have school, so I won't be able to update on anything. But if anything good happens, I'll probably update later. Yeah, so see you later, guys.